so I hopped in Blender and made a new enemy model. Last week we started making this survival game. Thank you for all the love and support by the way, I'm really glad you guys enjoyed the video. Some of you mentioned the terrible audio in last week's video, so I got a new mic to improve the quality of these videos for you guys. Anyways, last week we made the enemy follow the player and attack it when it gets close. We created the scuffed looking pistol and sword, we modeled houses in Blender, and we made a barely working inventory system. Now, it's safe to say that last week the game looked pretty trash. No, extremely trash. So in this episode, we're going to spice things up. <laughs> Get it? Spice? I showed a photo of spice. I started the week off by modeling some weapons in Blender. I managed to make a rifle, a pistol, a combat knife, a machete, and an axe. On Wednesday, I had a limited amount of time due to personal events. I made the enemies have random and varied speeds to make them feel more alive and less like robots. I quickly made a warehouse in Blender and bought the new mic at the end of the day. Currently, our enemies are literal f***ing beans, so I hopped in Blender and made a new enemy model. My name is Jeff. Yeah, so basically I just made a longer bean with arms and legs. I mean, I never said it was gonna look good. Now we need to rig him up, which basically means give him some bones because right now he's bones. And last time I checked, you can't move without bones. Or can you? So yeah, you can't move without bones. I imported this long boy into Unity and everything worked fine. To fix that, we need to give him some walk animations so he doesn't just float. I made a simple walk and idle animation in Blender. To play these animations properly, we're going to use a blend tree. If you don't know what a blend tree is, it's basically used to blend between animations smoothly. For example, if our enemy stopped walking, we don't want it to instantly stop because that would look weird. Instead, the blend tree blends between the walk and idle animation to make the transition smooth. If you didn't get any of that or if you want to learn more about it, comment down below and I'll make a tutorial. On Friday, I made some more enemies, so while that plays in the background, let me talk to you guys. A lot of you complimented me on my editing last video. Thank you so much. Honestly, I don't know how I managed to learn so quick. I had no fucking idea on how to use Premiere Pro a week ago. I literally just learned as I made last week's video. I guess you can call me a natural. I'm not trying to flex, but anyways, if you guys have any suggestions on how to make the videos better, please feel free to comment down below. If you guys are wondering, I'm not gonna start a long-term gain game that will take months to complete. This is because I'm new to game dev and I lack the knowledge of making optimized and efficient games. I want to create small quick games for now and develop my skills in programming and game dev in general. This is why unfortunately I'm not going to continue with this survival game. As much as I had fun making beans and debugging for hours, I need to try new things. First of all, it's very poorly coded as I took a bunch of tutorials and mashed them into one game. And second of all, I want to explore other areas of game dev. For example, next week, I'll be making a clicker game just like Cookie Clicker. I'm really excited for that. I'll also be making a granny-like horror game, which should be interesting. Stay tuned for that. Anyways, here are the enemies. I mean, at least they're not beans. Up to this point, we've been taking baby steps, so I decided to step things up and add a bunch of features in one day. I put the enemies on hold and got started on the day and night cycle. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. So I decided to step things up, to step things up, to step things up, <laughs> and I accidentally deleted all my scripts. So much for stepping things up. That's it guys. All the progress is gone. All that hard work for nothing. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.
Psych! Luckily, I was able to recover the files from the recycle bin. I got back to work on the day and night cycle and it went smoothly. For the first time, I didn't have to spend a whole fucking hour debugging. I continued working on the day and night cycle. I added a system that counts the days you've survived. It's a pretty simple system. The day survived variable increments by 1 each time the time of day reaches 24. After that, I modified the enemy spawner script. Now, enemies only spawn at night. Now, enemies only spawn at night. After hours and hours and hours of debugging and researching, I finally got the picking up system to work. Oh, you don't understand how happy I am right now. I've been at this since last episode. I've been trying to get this working for the longest time. This entire two weeks, I've been trying to get this pickup system to work. I've just been putting it to the side and working on other features, but... Oh my, let's go. Now that we have a pickup system working, I got motivation to work on other areas of the game. I implemented the hunger and thirst system and surprisingly, it was pretty easy to code. This is the code if you're interested. The hunger and thirst decreases over time by a controlled variable and it's translated into the slider. After that, I made a new food item which increases the hunger or thirst depending on what the item is. This will encourage the player to explore the environment for food and water. I made one that just increases the hunger, one that increases the thirst, and one that increases both. That's it for today, boys. I know the title says making a game in two weeks, but I had things going on with school and stuff, so I didn't really have much time. You know how it is. I also know that at the start of the video, I said that we're gonna spice things up, and clearly we didn't. Like, what is that? So comment down below if you want me to continue with the survival game. If you don't, I have some really cool videos coming up. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and that's been it for me. Peace.